Dalton Head community is set to remember two teens killed in a car crash at this week's graduation. Now you may remember that deadly wreck. It happened back in March. Low Country Bureau Chief Larry Spruill talked to a friend of the families. Tough time for them, Larry. Jennifer, it's definitely a hard time for the two families, especially since their loved ones were supposed to graduate this week. The crash was there when, when we walked into work. Um, so it was still like you could feel that, you know, the, the sadness, the emotion. Emotion. Jonathan Rivera can still feel months after this crash happened in front of his job. Inside the car, four Hilton Head High School students. Two of them, Cesar Herrera and Corey Rocha, died at the scene. Beaufort County deputies say the car was speeding down Dillon Road when the driver of the car lost control and hit this tree. After that, the car landed right here, just feet away from what's now a memorial site. It was hard for me to swallow. I can't even imagine, you know, the parent that received the call that, hey, I, I believe your child just passed away. Rivera, a friend of Cesar Herrera's family, knew right then he had to do something. Well, we understand how expensive at this point everything is, you know, like the medical bills and, and the cost of, you know, the loss that we that we received as a community. So we, we understood how hard it was for them. That's why Revolution Inc. wanted to add a little color to a dark situation. They hosted a fundraiser drawing tattoos for just $50. Rivera says they raised $1,000 that day and gave all the money to the families involved. Also, Hilton Head High School will celebrate the lives of both Caesar and Corey Thursday night. School District spokesperson Jim Foster says a slideshow dedicated to them will be shown at the graduation. Also, three empty chairs will be present in honor of one senior who died from a brain tumor this year and Caesar and Corey. A portrait of each will sit in the chairs. Caesar's mom once mentioned that she didn't want the loss of her child to, you know, to be in vain. The South Carolina Highway Patrol is investigating the accident. Charges are pending against the driver, 18-year-old Raymond Morales, who is still in the hospital. Troopers told WJCL they are working with the 14th Solicitor's Office to officially charge Morales. They say he was driving the car at about 115 miles per hour. We'll continue to follow this story and provide you with the latest information. But for now, reporting here in the studio, Larry Sproul, WJCL News, working for you.